So you've probably noticed that when you go to your iPhone photos, there are different sections at the bottom. So you have the library for you and albums. Now, what is the main difference for between a library and albums? Because you can see the same stuff, like the same four pictures, they just move a little bit. So what is the difference? Well, the for you is probably like a completely different thing, which is like craft some memories for you and stuff. So you don't really care about that or search. You can just search for stuff using here. But what is the difference between a library and the uh, albums well library is basically all of the photos in the order that they have been put onto your iphone so it doesn't matter if you have taken them yourself if you have downloaded them if you just decide that you just put them there on the iphone randomly it doesn't matter all of the photos are going to be in here and in fact you can even zoom out to get more view like better view of the actual photos so this is much better this is like an all-encompassing view of all of your photos it is sorry by time you cannot really see it because i don't have many but you can also choose it by days years months so you can scroll through all of your photos without any separation without any customization or seeing which one belongs where however the albums is a completely different scenario because album allows you to sort your photos the way that you want. So when you click on albums, you no longer have like a one mesh of all the photos, but you have the recents, which you can come back from and have many different things. You could argue that the recents album is the same as the library. Technically it is, but uh, there are many other albums inside and in here. So you can, for example, scroll through the people and pets, have some favorites, create a new album if you want by clicking on the plus icon you can create a new folder new shared album so albums is basically a place where you can sort your photos the way that you want and library is a place where you just have all of your photos put together chronologically so you don't get to decide like how you put them how you organize them you just scroll through all of the photos as I, as I said in the albums you have the options to customize them and also in at the bottom you have some utilities and like you can see the imports the hidden recently deleted in case you have some photos screenshots and the selfies you get like separate section for those as well so for example let me show you if I take a screenshot like this you can see a new media type has just shown up which is screenshot which is nice now if I leave the app and go to the photos and snap a video like this record a very short video when I come back to the photos. Another media type has been added, which is videos. Inside of the library, you can see that they have just been added to the end. So it's like a huge list of all the photos. In the albums, you can organize them as much as you like. So this is the main difference. This is how you should treat it. So yeah, that's basically how you can do that. Uh, of course, if you want more customization and organize them even more, you can put them put the photos inside of the files and like reorganize them here as much as you like and separate them into folders. But uh, usually people are fine with just the photos app. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Hopefully I explain to you the difference between library and albums. It's as simple as that. So if you found it useful, leave a thumbs up, but definitely join the free educational platform, which I created. It's called Foxtech. It is free to join by the link down below in the description. There are other people learning already as well. You can find some video editing courses, in-depth iPhone guides and stuff which you will definitely be interested in. So go ahead and join right now and I'll wait for you on the inside. Thanks a lot for watching. For now, I'll see you guys later.